right at the start of your shift, you're met by a 38-year-old woman involved in an MVC. She's got some chest trauma, but her fast is negative. She's hemodynamically stable. You get a chest x-ray showing a sternal fracture, and the question comes up about whether you should be worried about blunt cardiac injury. Let's take a listen into this segment with trauma team leader and EM doc, Andrew Petrosoniak. There is a fair amount of data that suggests isolated sternal fracture really doesn't put this patient at higher risk for or should not qualify this patient for ECG and troponins because their risk of blunt cardiac injury isn't higher than what we would expect anybody with any type of injury to the chest. Interestingly enough, if the fracture was just lateral to the sternum on the anterior ribs, I bet you the resident that I was working with would not have suggested we should do a troponin. It's just been ingrained in us for some reason, probably anatomic location. There's been some studies on looking at degree of displacement even, and that doesn't seem to have any predictor for blunt cardiac injury, so just degree of displacements of the sternum, nor the presence of a small retrosternal hematoma. That doesn't either, because that's what happens. When your bone breaks, you get a little retrosternal hematoma. 